Hello and welcome to today's session. Today's session we are looking at two of the most confusing terms, osteoarthritis, osteoporosis, and osteomalacia. So we are looking at the features, and the first column will be for the osteoarthritis, osteoporosis, osteomalacia. Okay, one of the common denominator in all these conditions is the osteo, the bone. Okay, the bone, the bone, the bone, the bone. So the type of condition, find that osteoarthritis is a degenerative joint disease. Degenerative joint disease, whereas osteoporosis normally leads to bone density reduction. Bone density reduction. Well, on the other hand, osteomalacia results into softening of the bone tissue. So what's the affected tissues? In osteoarthritis, the joint cartilage and the underlying bone is affected. Osteoporosis, we have the bone mass and the density, while osteomalacia, the bone matrix and mineralization are affected. So the primary symptom in osteoarthritis is a joint pain and stiffness, especially the weight-bearing joints. Yes. While osteoporosis, we have increased risk for fractures. Yeah, we normally call them pathological fractures. On the other hand, osteomalacia, as primary symptoms will be muscle weakness, bone pain, and also fractures. Okay, the age group that's affected in osteoarthritis, we have adult, uh, older adults, usually over 50 years. Osteoporosis, we also have older adults, yeah, especially the postmenopausal women, yeah, and, and, and the men. Osteomalacia affects all ages, and but it's more common in adults. In pathophysiology, pathogenesis, we have wear and tear that normally results in osteo. Arthritis, we've talked of the weight bearing joints, so we have uh, the joints. Okay, this is different from osteoporosis, where there is imbalance between the bone formation and bone resorption. Okay, bone formation is normally aided by the osteo, the osteocytes, yes, bone resorption, osteoclasts. Okay, so this imbalance between that normally result in a reduced bone density okay osteomalacia uh, results from vitamin d deficiency and this vitamin d deficiency normally leads to poor mineralization okay bone quality uh, in uh, osteoarthritis uh, bone quality is generally normal bone structure but in osteoporosis we have decreased bone density and weakened structure Whereas in osteomalacia, we'll have abnormal bone mineralization and structure. In terms of fracture risk, uh, not the primary focus, but joint mobility issues. Okay, here we have the problem with the joints. Okay, not the fracture. In osteoporosis, we say we have high risk of fractures, especially in the spine region, the pathological fractures. Whereas in osteomalacia, we also have increased fracture risk, especially in the weight-bearing joints, okay, due to reduced mineral mineralization. So what is the treatment approach? In osteoarthritis, we manage the pain and the joint support. Whereas in osteoporosis, where we have reduced bone density, we'll have medications, we'll have calcium, vitamin D supplements, okay? On osteomalacia, because it results from vitamin D deficiency, so we need vitamin D and calcium supplements. Okay. Diagnosing methods. In osteoarthritis, we can use the clinical evaluation X-ray, can, can show the cartilage and the underlying bone uh, deformities. Bone density uh, scans for the osteoporosis X-rays. And we have blood tests and biopsy, the rare, will be used in osteo, osteomalacia. So the prevention focus will have joint health and mobility and bone health and fracture prevention in osteoporosis, okay? And then vitamin D 
uh, sufficiency and bone health. <clears throat> so those are the 10 differences between osteoarthritis and osteoporosis and osteomalacia. <clears throat> Remember also osteoarthritis is also closely related to rheumatoid arthritis. Thus there is a link that will be popping out to show you the difference between osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis. Thank you so much.